Amazons, which is a Greek origined myth depicting a society consist of warrior and hunter women, have always been an inspiration for artists and movie makers and a great subject of wonder for ordinary people for a long time. When imagining about them, especially modern, history loving men always used a positive approach and imagined them as healthy, beautiful, powerful, and sexy women warriors. But when considering the words of some Greek historians like Methodius of Byzantium, who reports that Amazon women are Danaria, that means male killers, lizard and snake eaters, and when we learn Amazon women have nothing to do with sex, our point of view a bit changes. In Greek mythology, the Amazons are portrayed in a number of ancient epic poems and legends, such as the Twelve Labors of Heracles, the Argonautica and the Golden Fleece, and Homer's Iliad. They depict Amazons as a group of female warriors and hunters, who surpassed some men in physical agility and strength, in archery, riding skills, and the arts of combat. Their society was closed to men. The myth says that they used to visit the neighboring tribe, Gargarines, once a year with the purpose of reproducing with a random sexual intercourse. It is said, when they give birth, they only raise their daughters and return their sons to their fathers if not killed. Courageous and fiercely independent, the Amazons, commanded by their queen, regularly undertook extensive military expeditions into the far corners of the world, from Scythia to Thrace, Asia Minor and the Aegean Islands, reaching as far as Arabia and Egypt. Besides military raids, the Amazons are also associated with the foundation of temples and the establishment of numerous ancient cities like Ephesus, Syme, Smyrna, Sinope, Myrina, Magnesia and Pygala. Historians like Herodotus, Diodorus, Apollonius, Justinus, Pliny, Virgil, Aeschylus, Stephanos, Hesiod, Lysias, Pausanias points out to Miscera on the banks of the Thermodon River on northern coasts of Asia Minor as their homeland. The most well-known queen of Amazons is Penthesilea, who was believed to be the daughter of Ares and Otrera and the sister of Hippolyta, Antiope and Melanip. In the book Epic Ethiopes which is also known as Little Iliad which was one of the epic cycle, that told the entire history of the Trojan War in epic verse, presence in Troy of Penthesilea and Memnon was described in detail. Quintus of Smyrna gives a detailed description of the stunning Penthesilea in his post America in her face glowed beauty glorious and terrible. Her smile was ravishing. Beneath her brows, her love in kindling eyes shone like to stars, and with the crimson rose of shame fastness bright were her cheeks, and mantled over them unearthly grace with battle prowess clad. The epic says, while she was fighting against Achaeus on the side of Trojans, she was killed by Achilles. When Achilles stripped Penthesilea of her armor and beheld her beauty, he fell in love with the fallen queen. Hippolyta, was another queen of Amazons and was believed to be one of the daughters of Ares and Otrera. She wore her father Ares Zoster, the Greek word found in the Iliad and elsewhere meaning, war belt. To gain the war belt was also the mission of Hercules as one of his twelve labors in mythology. He was sent to retrieve it for Admet, the daughter of King Eurystheus. Most versions of the myth indicate that Hippolyta was so impressed with Heracles that she gave him the belt without argument, perhaps while visiting him on his ship. Then, according to Pseudo-Apollodorus, the goddess Hera, making herself appear as one of the Amazons, spread a rumor among them that Heracles and his crew were abducting their queen, so the Amazons attacked the ship. In the fray that followed, Heracles slew Hippolyta, stripped her of the belt, fought off the attackers, and sailed away. According to Theseus' myth, Queen Hippolyte was abducted by Theseus, 
who took her to Athens, where she experienced forced marriage, sexual slavery, rape, and as a result of forced pregnancy bore him a son, Hippolytus. In other versions, the kidnapped Amazon is called Antiope, the sister of Hippolyte. In revenge, the Amazons invaded Greece, plundered some cities along the coast of Attica, and besieged and occupied Athens. Hippolyte, who fought on the side of Athens, according to another account was killed during the final battle along with all of the Amazons. The origin of the word Amazon is uncertain. It may be derived from an Iranian ethnonym from Persian, Harmazan, which meant, warriors, or in similar utilization, Hamazakran, which meant, to make war. But there is no suffix or prefix within the words which can describe the gender. If it was derived from the word, Hammer, which means, all, the suffix, Zan, indicates female gender. So, Hamazan, refers to a group of women in Persian. A further explanation proposes Iranian, Armajana, virility killing, as source. Among the ancient Greeks, the term Amazon was given a folk etymology as originating from, Brestus, connected with an etiological tradition once claimed by Marcus Justinus, who alleged that Amazons had their right breast cut off or burnt out. But, there is no indication of such a practice in ancient works of art. In marble carving painting art like statues, reliefs and sarcophagoses Amazons are always represented with both breasts, while one is frequently nude. On the contrary, in the terracotta painting art, both breasts are generally fully covered. Besides in marble carving art, the women warriors while one breast nude, are generally depicted like Greek women with Greek-type female clothes. The women in terracotta art are generally depicted with Scythian or Persian type clothes which are way different than Greek culture. Scythian women, on the contrary of the Greek myth that says the Amazon queen Penthesilea is the daughter of Ares, are not a Greek society and their presence in Trojan War on behalf of Troy describes this situation. Although the sources are totally Greek, some findings from the excavations, like female Scythian women buried with armor and arms while wearing Scythian and Persian-type clothes let us start to see the history more clear.